Today, let's take a look at the Canic TP9 Elite SC with the Swamp Fox Sentinel on it. So back when I was at SHOT Show, I did a video with Swamp Fox Optics on their new Sentinel Optic, which wasn't even out yet. It was just a prototype then. Well, now they've got it available and I picked one up the other day, got it in. This optic is awesome. And I just picked up this Canic Elite to run it on and I got the all black version of the TP9 Elite SC, sorry. And I really like this little gun too. Now I have shot a few Canics before and I've liked all them and I like this one just as well. It's a nice size gun and this optic is aluminum housing it's got a 3 moa dot and it does have i did get the manual one with the manual brightness settings and shake awake they also have one that's always on with an automatic brightness adjustment but i went ahead and chose the manual because i like to be able to have control over it now it does co-witness perfectly with the factory sights on this gun so let's take some shots with it see how it does this is a 12 round mag first This little gun really shoots nice. Now we got the 15 rounder. Let's go get smaller. All right, let me go reload. Be right back. All right, got the magazines loaded back up. Let's take a few more shots. Let's do some one-handed. And I missed on my first Trigger on this gun is excellent. I don't know why, I just close the slide. And I shot my cane fix my target and reload all right got it loaded back up didn't fix my target because I don't have anything out here to fix it with and I'm not going hunting that down it's hot and I just want to get this video done so let's shoot it some more right. let's do one handed again There, I knocked that target all the way off. That's what I was going to do. Still hit the smallest one one handed. Ah, look, I left my mag line over here. Alright, I'm back with it. Just dump them on the silhouette and see just how quick I can get them all on that. All right, let's head inside. We'll take a look at what you get when you buy the Swamp Fox Sentinel, and we'll also take a look at what you get when you buy the TP9 Elite SC from Canic. All right, we've made it in off the range. So now let's take a look at what you get when you buy the Canic TP9 Elite SC, and then we'll take a look at what you get when you buy the Swamp Fox Sentinel. All right, Canic, you get this nice black hard case. Open it up. It does have a bore brush and a cleaning rod. You've got your paperwork manuals. Get in here. You got the trigger lock and some little tag of some sort. I don't know, quality control tag. You got a little toolbox with some wrenches and some screwdrivers in it to take your plate off before the optic goes. Comes with a 15 round extended magazine. Comes with a small back strap and a large back strap. It comes with a flush plate for the 12 round. And of course, you get the gun. Now, I do already have the Swamp Fox Sentinel installed. And it came with this plate on it in place of it. But it also comes with this little, I guess it's injection molded. It doesn't really feel like Kydex holster. And now these clips are reversible, so this can be worn inside or outside the waistband. And your gun and 12 round magazine with the pinky extension installed, or you've got the flush mount. All right, let's take a little closer look at the gun itself. All right, we are clear. All right, we'll start down here at the bottom. You can see first, this is your changeable back strap. It comes with the large installed, or you can drive out the pin, and the small's included. 
Now the checkering or texture on the back strap and the front strap are fairly aggressive. You can get a good purchase on them. But the side texture on the side panels is very smooth. It looks a lot more aggressive than it actually is. Now the magazine release is not ambidextrous, but it is swappable. So you can swap it from either side. The slide stop, which is actually one of my downsides to this gun is a slide stop. It is, it is completely ambidextrous. It works. If I can hold it, you can see it works well. Just the same from either side. But it's extremely wide there. And we'll get into the dimensions here in a minute. And then you've got metal sights, and these are serrated. And your front sight is a white phosphorus dot. They're not really night sights. It's got some pretty aggressive slide serrations if you want to press check. It does have a loaded chamber indicator. It also has a striker indicator. You can see right there it's red because the striker's cocked. As you pull the trigger, it goes away. Now, as you know, it's cut for the optic. It's cut for the RMSC cut. So Kinnick classifies this as a subcompact, and I'd say it's probably more of a hybrid between a compact and a subcompact. It's a little big to be calling it a subcompact. The length on it is six and five eighths inches. The width on it is one and a half inches, and that's to the outside of these slide stops. And it's just really wide there. I mean, you can just see how wide it really is there now the height with the sentinel installed on it is right at five inches the barrel length on this is 3.6 inches now the weight on it was 24.2 ounces unloaded and the trigger pull on this gun is absolutely excellent i can't say enough good about the trigger on it and i'll try to get it show you here the reset the trigger pull came in at 4 pounds, 5.9 ounces, but it's very smooth and the reset is really short. There it is. Let's see if I can get it one more time. Now, to disassemble this gun, it's similar to most other striker fire guns. You, you do have to pull the trigger on it, but I just did. You pull back on the slide just slightly, push down on the tabs, push it forward just a little bit, not very far and it just picks straight up and off. You don't slide it all the way off the front. Now it does have a metal guide rod, which is a nice feature. And then, let's see, it's polished. All the internals are polished. And then to put it back on, you just set it right there and just slide it back and it's ready to go again. Now, as far as the accessory rail goes, I could put my Olight PL Mini 2 on it, but it did not work with my Olight PL Mini. And I believe it works with the Streamlight TLR7, the Enforce APLC, and there may be some others I don't know about. Now you can find these guns in the sub $400 price range, and you really get a lot of features for that price. I'm very happy with this gun. I mean, you get an optic cut, you get steel sights that do co-witness, and it comes with the extended magazine. In. And now you can see here, the back end's cut off because this magazine it's in the sleeve that slides down over it. It's actually the base plate. So you can see how the back's cut off and that's supposed to help with printing. I don't know whether it really will or not. I kind of I kind of think it's kind of goofy looking myself, but I mean, it's functional. It shoots fine. All right, so what comes with the Swamp Fox Optic Sentinel whenever you buy it? Well, let's take a look. It comes in this box here that I apparently can't open. There we go. Uh, you got a little customer support card. You got your manual for it. Tells you all this. Comes with the lens cloth, Swamp Fox sticker. Comes with three different size screws. Let's cram those back in there. Came with a battery. Of course, it comes with the little shield or whatever you want to call this thing. It goes over the optic. And then it came. Uh, May not be able to get it out of here. But it came with a little, there it is, a little screwdriver to install it. That's a nice little feature. All right, let me put all this back. Now the Sentinel itself is offered in two different models. The automatic brightness model, which is always on, or the manual brightness model, which is what I have here. And that offers 10 different brightness settings and it's a shake and wake model. And it features a 16 millimeter lens, a three MOA dot with 10 brightness levels. The dimensions on it are 1.61 inches long by 0.91 inches wide and 0.94 inches tall. It weighs in at 0.62 ounces. Now this is made of 7075 aircraft grade aluminum 
And the lens is anti-fog, anti-scratch coated glass. It uses one CR2032 battery with an advertised battery life of 12,000 hours. Now the cost on the Sentinel is going to be right at $279 on the Swamp Fox Optics website. And like I said, I really like this dot. It seems really well built. Now, if you haven't heard of Swamp Fox Optics, they were founded in 2018 in Colorado, and they make all kinds of optics, including LPVOs, precision rifle scopes, red dots, several other things. And all their products have a 50,000 round warranty, and they also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee if you get one and you don't like it for some reason. Now, the only downside I could find with the dot is that it doesn't have a rear sight notch built in it, because like my P365XL, I've got the Romeo Zero on it, which... I like it, but it's definitely not as sturdy or well-built of a dot as this one is. And I had some problems with it out of the box, so check out this video up over here somewhere for more on that. But I wish this had the rear sight notch built in so it would co-witness with that gun. Because it, whenever the P365XL, you have to remove the rear sight to put the dot on it. But it works out perfect on this gun. You know, this setup right here really makes for a pretty nice little budget carry gun. I mean, plus you add that Swamp Fox Optics on there and you're still under $700 with a red dot. So it's definitely worth checking out if it's something that interests you. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy it, be sure and share it out. And if you think I've earned it, consider subscribing. We'll see you next time.